Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to First Rivet here. Uh, catching everybody up from what we've been working on the last couple weeks. Uh, this is uh, basically from the first part of September to the 15th or so. Uh, I'm going to try to start putting the diagrams of what I'm working on up on the screen there. And what was there was uh, basically the rear wing spar for the uh, right wing. Or they sh basically mirror each other, so it's right and left. Um, Spent some time working on getting the those parts cleaned up and uh, working on getting the the rivets done in here. Um, the there's a definitely uh, some rivets you don't want to put in this part, and so it's just a, kind of a lot of thinking through next steps and uh, only doing the parts that I need to do or rivet at this point in time, because uh, otherwise you wind up going back through and drilling a bunch of them out. Um, if you haven't seen the sling build video series that uh, Evan uh, put together. It's actually really good. I'm catching up uh, Lori here. She uh, didn't work that evening when I was working on it, but just letting her know where I'm at. And uh, we're putting the left wing into storage a little bit while we work on the right wing. So right here, we're getting the parts out for the ribs. And uh, the, the first section starts out with a whole bunch of the um, more, uh, I'll call it complicated, but uh, they're not that hard set of ribs. And basically just laid out um, both right and left hand side portions of the rib. And um, that way Lori and I just worked in parallel where we would take one rib apart, clean it, uh, deburr it, get it all ready to go. Um, and uh, then assemble that particular rib and then move on to the next one. That way uh, we're just sort of kind of keeping everything going. This is what the rib sections with all the parts look like before we cleaned them or got them all ready to go. And um, this is just kind of us working through each segment there. It actually went pretty quick. Um, I, I was, you know, we, we did this uh, pretty much in an afternoon and uh, didn't run into too many problems. This section was probably where the most deburring that I've had to do uh, of all the parts so far. Um, really didn't run into too many problems with uh, just sharing the riveter there. So some of these, I, I, I've been editing a lot of these down as much as I can so that they're still containing the information but they're not really super long as far as the segments um so hopefully you know if, if you need more detail if you people are wanting to see more detail let me know and i can certainly make these longer um when i first got all the videos together there was about uh, an hour and a half worth of video in this sped up format to put together so to get it down to less than 15 minutes is i got to cut out quite a bit of stuff um so this is the next day after that, and uh, we're, if you see the parts sitting there on the table there, just to the right of where Lori's at, that's probably the more complicated rib to put together. Um, getting all of the plastic taken off sometimes is uh, a little fun. We started wearing gloves on the, the cleaning portion of things because the aluminum just really gets under your fingernails and, and just really stains your fingers. It's a whole lot better to, to put on uh, some protection for that. Um, we're just using a, the Aviation Simple Green uh, mixture to clean that up. This is uh, Lori's working on the part here that is probably the most complicated of the bunch, and that's actually the plan right there. Um, it's not hard. It's just you know making sure that you get everything in going the right direction, and um, you know once you get one done, it's the next one's pretty easy. And that's actually kind of the nice part is is we've done both left and right ribs at this stage. So um, when we get towards the end of the video, you'll see that we've got the, the right wing skeleton together. Um, we think we're missing one of the uh, leading edge ribs, uh, but in talking with uh, one of the other sling builders who actually just had his fir first flight this week, um, he's thinking that maybe it might be because there was a change in the wing uh, earlier this year um, where the the fuel tank is actually bigger uh, than what the original sling TSI was. So we may have that particular build. Um, the way the plan looks is it, it says it's a part like 195L. And to me that says long range tanks. 
um, there's it's not real clear in the the plans so what I'm going to do is grab the leading edge or I'm sorry the fuel tank uh, leading edge skin and bring that over and kind of put it on the front of the airplane and or fr front of the wing and see if that is um, indeed going to cover to the rib that we have um, it's kind of one of the things that's holding us up right now from completing the right wing is uh, I think we need that rib but I'll have to double check and, and make sure that it, it isn't the case. All right, you ready? So this is us actually bringing the right spar over from my in-laws house who are helping us store some of the parts in their garage. And it's actually close enough that this is our little walk. Um, they're just down and around the corner and Lori came up with the idea to put the, um, the camera on the, the wing spar, which I think is a great idea. You can just kind of see how far uh, we are apart from one unit to the other. It doesn't take real long and the Piper, who's our dog there, she's really good about sticking close by. Um, she is uh, probably one of the best dogs that I've owned. Um, she listens very well and doesn't go very far. So this is uh, the totality of the distance that we have to carry parts when we need to um, from the in-laws over to our place. And they've been great about having us uh, keep some stuff in their basement and their garage. Uh, gives us some more room. So there's the spar on the table. Um, it, the sling build video recommended putting tape down the middle and when you go to do the um, drilling out of the holes to um, effectively dimple the holes, um, you'll definitely appreciate that. Um, you may see me cleaning some of the, the parts on occasion with um, some goof off and that's because sometimes in the uh, preparation for shipping or the shipping material, uh, they use uh, some pretty sticky tape and it doesn't come off real clean from the, the parts. And I want to make sure that I get the parts super clean. Uh, this is us just going down the, the ribs there and getting the, the dimples done. Um, took a little bit of uh, time to get a technique down to get a real nice clean hole, but uh, Basically, the, the meth method that I'm using here is I'm, I'm starting to drill up sort of at an angle and then easing into the hole. Uh, gets a real nice, clean, round, uh, it's a kind of a bifurcation or a, a, a dimple or whatever into the, the hole. And it's meant for the rivet that goes in there. It's got a, a chamfer on it. That's the word I was looking for, a chamfer. Um, but there's a whole bunch of those that have to go all the way down the, the wing spar and uh, probably, I don't know, it took us a while, but basically you get all these little chips from the, the wing spar itself. Um, what Lori's got in her hand, you may be able to catch it a little bit, is she's got one of the, the, the rivets that is to be used for this part. And so we're basically validating every hole that goes down. Um, and there's a certain point where we have to stop and then, then we go back. So... Um, I don't know. It'll take us just about as long to do the rest. So um, the instructions weren't terribly clear on this, but uh, the way I understood it was is that we needed to get the fittings for the ribs on before we put it on to the wing jigs. Um, I don't think it really matters. Um, the, the Evans video, I think, is uh, probably more clear, and it says that you know you, you can put that on, um, but then you've got to put that rear wing spar on uh, after a number of ribs because the the way the weight works um i wasn't real sure on the uh, the orientation on that rear wing spar um so it took me a little bit of time to sort that out and i had to test it against the other uh wing spar because i wasn't sure if i got the part mixed up or not um and these are the rear portions of the uh wing spar that go actually at the root of the wing closest to the airplane um, it's the part where you would actually step up onto the wing when you get into the airplane. We didn't prep these parts uh, originally because they just don't take very long. So probably maybe took me half hour, 45 minutes or so to get them off, uh, clean, I'll get the plastic off, deburred and uh, cleaned up. So not a big deal. Um, this is the uh, second part where I've got some bolts and they need to be torqued. Um, what you see me there is I'm taping off some of the ribs. I don't have um, one of the bars that goes internal to the wing. Um, and that's ordered. It's back ordered or something like that. Um, and it may be a while before I get that. 
because uh, there's no shipping information as of yet. So I wanted to continue to go as far as I can without, um, you know, blocking myself in. Those two ribs that have the tape on it, I'm going to have to make sure that I be able to move them to be able to get that bar in place. So uh, I've worked around that as much as I can. Uh, and there's one other, so that if you see that leading edge rib on the right hand side, it's just two to the our left of where Lori is standing, or two to her right. Um, I think I need one more rib leading edge or leading edge rib there. Um, but I'm not sure. And that's, that's where that fuel tanks leading edge skin is going to come into play. Um, right here, I'm just basically going through and I'm riveting the, um, the ribs into place and, um, I'll get that back, uh, the, the rear one into place as well. Um, there's definitely, you know, some feeling of progress when you're putting the, ri the rivets in it, it's, you know, it, it's almost definitive. Okay, cool. You know, we're, we're moving on with the next stage. Uh, I've had quite a few people ask me if this is a hard project. Um, you know, honestly, if you can read directions, it's, it's not terribly difficult. Um, you just basically have to spend the time to sort of understand what the, the directions are trying to say and then read a little more. Oh, that's the, uh, the, the extra ribs that you go in where you step up onto. Um, so we worked up until the uh, other weekend, or this last weekend, and uh, we took a little time out to uh, go up to Cody, Wyoming with the Colorado Pilots Association. So we didn't work this last weekend. Um, we'll be back at it this weekend. Uh, I've been feeling a little under the weather this week, so I took some time off uh, from working in the evenings this week, but uh, hopefully we'll overcome that here. Um, this is, I'm just getting the rest of these uh, rear rear portions of the right wing together. Um, the next step after this is uh, plan on flipping this over and then working on the skins underneath. And again, this is one of those where I'm going to work around the, those three ribs that I think I've got to kind of hang tight on. Um, so I'm going to attach as much as I can. Um, basically the idea is, is the wings that are, or the ribs that are not riveted in, I'll just slide those down get the bar put into place and then I can put those uh, back into place and then rivet them in. So just checking my work here. And at this point in time, uh, I'm starting to, I'll start cleaning up here in a second. Basically, you know, there's a lot of taking apart, putting together, Anyway, so this is uh, Cody, Wyoming, um, so we'll catch you guys on the next video.